Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel the Elliott Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. So in today's video, good news is for uh, that I'm going to post my regular analysis which I post on Patreon here on YouTube channel so more and more people actually can take benefit from it. However, in return if you can actually push the thumbs up button if you even like it a bit of it. If you don't like regularly then of course don't push a thumbs up button. But if you like it even a bit and you think that the value is, there is some value to the content, please do push the thumbs up button so more and more people can actually uh, see this content. Um, once of all, first, first of all, we are going to look at gold and silver only. So let's get back a bit and see what's happening. Now I do believe that we have actually created a major bottom right over here. Not only that, but we are also completed wave 1, 2 and 3 and 4. Does that mean a smaller wave 5 and then that's it? No, I believe in that case, in this particular case, I believe that we are looking it in a very elongated uh, fifth wave. And I'm looking, uh, I've done some studies and I'm looking at something the next target for gold is going to be about uh, $2,000 per ounce. And then we'll look at it after what happens after that. But for now, the uh, the target that I'm giving right now is four thousand dollars an ounce, and I'm not kidding about it. It is very very realistic. As soon as we come out of the the consolidation that's happening, uh, the the consolidation that's happening right now, and I believe the process has already started. So as far as Elliott wave analysis is concerned, we are considering it as wave one, two, and three and four. If you look at the traditional technical analysis, and then we can see the prices have actually. Uh, been refused from the previous top a region just beyond the previous top the important point here is that instead of going all the way down it's been almost a year right now when the refusal occurred instead of the pricing going all the way down over here uh, they have actually stayed uh, just below this particular structure just within the very first support structure that happened in the whole correction that gives you gives you a clue that how strong the upper trend is and although the prices got a pullback then they're not actually heading downward. So this is one major, major uh, sig signature of the price moving upward. As far as Elliott Wave analysis is concerned, even though it looks like a triangle, I'm not considering it a triangle because on some of the patterns, uh, on some of the charts, the new extreme was created. So that gives me to consider it as a triple zigzag, single zigzag, a correction, this is called a expanded flat, another zigzag, and another a flat correction, and, and the last one, zigzag. So it completes the three zigzags. If we zoom in a little further, we can see that we have seen a little stronger price movement, and then I'm considering this whole price movement as a double zigzag. Not only that we have come out of the correctional channel, uh, the, but we have also broken the support, that means the channel, definitely. But we have actually seen prices gone up, and we are seeing right now some correction. Uh, there was some uh, possibility and I had a trade I put got out of it. The reason I did not make a forecast of it that I do not want to put a lot of pressure uh, on the intraday trading setup. All right. If you're up from the bottom and I call this bottom, if you're up from the bottom, then you should not be worrying. And if you're not up from the bottom and if you have seen only the bottom entered somewhere over here, you still don't have nothing to worry. Uh, let's have a look why this price is returned back and see what's the actually happening. So one support came back, this diagonal support is important, but we also need to look at that this support is also important. So if kind of, let me drop this and this as well. So you guys actually can see that the price action is now getting pressed from the top and the bottom. Both places are coming in order. So does that mean that we are gonna see that price movement? Not so quickly, but before we can actually uh, do that, we need to uh, going to spend some time over in the here. The reason is because gold has moved eighty dollar in about six, about seven, eight days, ten days maybe, and right now we are within the correction pattern. Uh, on a one hourly chart, let's have a look. Either you can consider this whole price movement as a five wave structure, or you can consider it as one and two and a smaller wall one and a two. Uh, it will be whatever the case you want to do it is very important for you to keep hold of this price area because just in case something happens and this is whole five wave structure in that case there's one possibility and that the price is going to go up and then come down right over here uh, making this although this is less likely to happen and i give you the reason why 
so although it's less likely to happen but there's a strong possibility that if it does happen then you don't get caught uh, considering that this is a wave one and then wave two uh, wave two cannot go beyond the wave one so you are uh, you don't get an easy entry markets are not they don't allow you to actually get so easy on trading right so the whole point of market is to right now the trading community is away they're considering okay we can put our stop loss right over here and if they get stopped out they'll be get scared so the good point of entry right over here is right now one right over here and if you want to be a little more careful then why not put somewhere around just beyond this uh, this low around 1670 1650 and if you're trading long term and if you want to be you are more professional and uh, seasoned trader uh, and you're not some just uh, a regular intraday trader then you might want to put stop loss beyond the very important uh, support structure which is this one which is this one so it's a good idea to actually enter the trade and put a stop loss around beyond this will be actually a proper way to do the trading setup but if you are want, considering that okay you know uh, you can take a bit of risk then you can consider 1721 to be safe point for stop loss what I'm expecting right now, I'm expecting quite a bit of strength in the in the trend and giving me an indication that the uh, possibility of flat is more uh, more there than as compared to. And there is a good possibility that we might see an expanded flat, not all the way high over over here. There's a possibility that the price can actually carry quite high during the correction. But this is what I'm thinking right now. There is a possibility of this. In that case, if the support gets broken don't worry about it you can always always uh, connect yourself more with a uh, horizontal horizontal support when this kind of action occurs right as long as the flat is occurring definitely the price action is going to pull the price action uh, away from the support line and uh, that actually has been helped if full with this price action so you can use this one and once the new price action gets started uh, once the correction is complete right over here uh, you can use this one I'm looking at the gold as bullish I'm also looking at the gold is right now at a very amazing place uh, where our the next generation of traders retail traders will look at it and say wow they made they look they missed a very uh, important golden opportunity I myself when I started trading I I looked at the bottom that was created around three hundred to fifty dollars or three hundred dollars per ounce for gold and I'm like what an idiot I was I missed that and I think this is going to happen right now with the next generation of traders. They look at $2,000 or $1,800 an ounce of gold and they say they have missed the already uh, opportunity of a lifetime. So since we are retail traders and I'm myself a retail trader, uh, I try to take as much benefit as possible. But we need to be very realistic. We are not trading $5 stop loss, $10 stop loss. If you are doing that, believe me there is no chance that you can get successful in trading so right now I uh, my stop loss is gonna be around 1720 I'm already long on it uh, one of the trades that I already have I can show you guys uh, let me see if I can open that and I can show you guys I'm already uh, about $400 uh, alright my software my my software is not allowing me to actually go off the screen the recording software uh, but right now the point here is that I personally entered the trade right over here around this which is around 1778 I think it was so the price has gone a little more than deeper than I thought I thought this price action would occur in two three days instead it took it to one day so this is uh, this is tradition this is you know I should have anticipated it that yeah we can see first leg stronger uh, and then third leg very slower so I, would, I should have anticipated it, but when you are doing some wrong, uh, I mean short term thinking, then your brain is of course under pressure and then you are not uh, evaluating the market conditions really quickly. The point here right now is I am already in a trade. I wanted to, I will show it to you guys in the near future uh, as soon as I get, um, mm, I can maybe Monday, Tuesday, I'll open the trade for you guys. When the price were falling, I just made a little trade and I took some profit uh, of that trade, but not a lot. 
so the point here is that I will definitely show up that trade the, from the, the account that I'm displaying it to you guys that was specially for uh, YouTube I once again advise you please do not put all of your funds in one trade please do not do so this is very very highly risky the whole purpose of me doing was to attract some more audience right simple that I'm uh, the whole reason for me to pull that kind of stunt was that so this is right now I'm looking at it I'm looking at it next few days next week is actually going to be quite boring if you are uh, if you do not take to take uh, decide to take profits right over here is there a possibility that we have completed wave one right over here or wave one two one two and a strong wave there is a possibility always the point here is I wanted to make is that I'm bullish so you might not want to come out of the trade all right that's your personal decision when prices do go up I will probably pull out of the trade I'll wait for the pullback maybe that happens or does not happen in that case I might end up losing uh, or missing the opportunity and that is the reality of the trading well you catch some you miss some and uh, let's have a look at a four hourly chart on a daily chart and I have already indicated 13, 1834 is very important target for me uh, when, the, when the prices fall uh, beyond that that will give us a confirmation that the prices have actually uh, kind of more matured and we can look into areas I will be more easy when the price actually come out of this uh, falling channel and then that will be somewhere around 1875 1880 area if price can actually come out of it and then definitely a lot of people are going to look at 1720 and this low right now i think we are in a very very good place you can put your stop loss a hundred dollar away and forget about the trade it will just carry on running on its own you don't have to worry about price entries time and again so i'm bullish on on gold and um, let's have a look at silver i'm silver i'm bullish on silver as well uh, the problem here is that uh, <laughs> things are not looking as uh, as attractive uh, for silver especially on this time frame so I'm expecting right now that when prices actually hits around 24 this resistance which is 2480 there is a good possibility that we'll see uh, a stronger a sharper uh, stronger and sharper move or slower move downward there is a possibility that it can actually go back below this particular top as well so keep all that in mind I'm looking at couple of different things in uh, as per Elliott wave analysis I'm bullish on on silver and if you are actually have been waiting for the uh, silver to run give a strong run up then I believe that we are in the early stages uh, as I said I do not want to I have done some analysis and studies I do not want to show the whole chart and uh, because it's work still under process so I think that we have created one important bottom uh, one thing is that once that resistance get hit there's a possibility that when the price falls down it it then there's a possibility that it actually can go beyond this low so be really careful uh, I think I have a silver trade running up not a big one a smart one and I'll wait for the important place to resistance to occur and then I'll come out so silver is definitely definitely bullish uh, not a lot of people are watching it uh, but right now it will be a good about four dollar jump from twenty twenty dollar twenty one dollars to twenty four uh, eighty that's a good jump for silver uh, wish you good luck actually with trading uh, as far as the forex pairs are concerned uh, there is a lot of different waves occurring the reason I'm not sharing uh, forex pairs are there they're quite unstable right now uh, different forex pairs are showing different price actions and there's uh, I'm bearish on basically dollar index on the long term so if you want to trade short term on the dollar index I I think this is not the right uh, time uh, so I'm staying away from the currencies that are in the basket of the dollar index I am definitely bearish on on US dollar in the long term next couple of years I'm looking at that US dollar is going to get weaker things are not looking really great as far as the uh, US economics is concerned I hope that my um, my fears are wrong but it looks like the world economy is heading toward uh, some very very bad time uh, I am looking at last couple of years in the term in the price of gold has just the beginning of it, it normally the price uh, target ranges from eight years to ten years that how long normally the the price uh, cycles are for gold for commodities 
and if imagine it just a couple of years has happened let's just consider this year that means th three years we have another seven years uh, from for that bottom to make 10 years top away or eight years and then we have another five years for the price of gold uh, let's say the the prices decide to stay make a top at uh, eight eight years high so next five years uh, at least are looking very very uh, bearish for uh, US dollar itself maybe in the middle of the next five years uh, US dollar will start coming out uh, into out of water and then into good hands but especially definitely next two years are definitely definitely bearish for US dollar that means the other currencies that are in a basket dollar index are going to benefit f from it that includes euro Canadian dollar British pound uh, Japanese yen I think uh, an Australian dollar I think the Swiss franc is that's what it is called Swiss franc I have never traded that so if you like the content please push thumbs up and wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye